Hi everybody and welcome to another video of the Bravo project. Uh, today I am excited to let you guys know that we finally have a kit for Bravo project um, after receiving uh, several requests here on YouTube and, and through other channels for the kit. Uh, I finally decided to put together a kit and uh, today we're gonna have a look at it and see what uh, we have here. Uh, so this kit uh, could be um, purchased from uh, 8bitkits.com as you can see here uh, but I uh, put a link in the description. Uh, there are multiple options um, but let's uh, first have a look at the uh, base basically kit and uh, we're gonna look at the uh, couple of other stuff. So first of all let's see what you get in the box. Uh, so you're gonna get a couple of bags uh, and those bags contain all the parts and components that you actually need to build this project. Now the first one uh, contains all the uh, you know flash memories and, and RAM along with the IC sockets uh, and uh, then you're gonna get a bag for uh, all other parts, mostly the uh, capacitors, resistors, uh, header pins, uh, you know, resistor arrays and, and so on. So that's all comes in a bag. And then you're gonna get uh, all the uh, TTL chips um, inside a little container along with the IC socket. So for this project, uh, you will not be soldering anything or any of the chips directly on the PCBs. Uh, you're gonna get um, different size of the IC sockets for each chip. You're also gonna get uh, the uh, crystal oscillator, a couple of uh, switches, and also you're gonna get a RS-232 to USB dongle here. This is part of the project that we'll be using uh, when we're building the um, UART TX and RX module. So again, these are all the chips that you're gonna get uh, for the project. And uh, finally, uh, you're gonna get uh, some uh, female connectors, or these are the uh, stackable uh, female headers. You're gonna get 12 of those, uh, which basically plays the role of bus in our computer, interconnecting uh, all the modules, the stackable modules. And also finally, you're gonna get the uh, PCBs for the project. So this project has a total of uh, seven PCBs um, that um, probably you have seen that I've been soldering those in the videos, uh, but you're gonna get um, all the PCBs that is required uh, for the project. Uh, now, one thing about the PCBs is that um, I actually uh, try to order uh, these PCBs let free, uh, and uh, despite the fact they cost a little bit more to get the let free PCBs, but um, I said, well, why not? I mean, let's be a little bit uh, cautious about the environment, so uh, these are more environment friendly and also I really didn't want to send uh, uh, PCBs to, you know, people here that that contains lead. So these are lead free, uh, I guess, it's better quality uh, in general. Uh, uh, and also regarding all other parts, I actually try to source all the parts, especially the chips and memories and, uh, and flash memories and so on from a reliable source or multiple sources actually. Uh, I just didn't want to get any uh, fake parts uh, for this kit and for this project. So uh, all the parts, uh, most of the chips are actually name brand chips and all from a, a very reliable source. All right, so with that, this is really uh, the kit, uh, that all the parts that you get for the base kit. And using those, you will be able to you know, build the project, um, all the seven modules, and just like um, I'm building it in the videos. Now, uh, one more thing that we may need for this project, we actually need it for this project, is a flash programmer that I haven't talked about that yet uh, because we're not there yet. Uh, we're gonna uh, be building the control logic and also the memory uh, module later. And at that point, we're gonna need a flash programmer. So uh, essentially what you need is um, a simple flash programmer to program our flash memories. Now there are two solutions for that, I and mean, uh, one solution will be to use um, uh, this simple flash programmer that actually developed by Carson Herting, and um, it's a, a, a simple uh, circuit uh, which consists of Arduino Nano and uh, a pair of um, HC595s, um, 
and also a socket for the flash. Uh, this is uh, actually very similar to the flash programmer that uh, Ben Eder is building uh, in, uh, in his 8-bit uh, computer project. Uh, so this is one option. Uh, uh, if you do not have any uh, professional uh, flash programmer device like, uh, let's say, a Mini Pro, right? So if you have a Mini Pro, then that's probably more than enough. You, do, you really don't need uh, to get uh, this small flash programmer. However, if you do not have any flash programmer, then probably uh, this is going to be a you know, low-cost solution for this project. So that's why this is not actually part of the main kit. This is um, you know, considered as add-on. You could you know, purchase it separately if you need it. Or if you do not need it, just um, use your uh, own uh, you know, flash programmer. Now, in long term, I believe if you are doing a lot of these projects, probably getting, uh, you know, one of these uh, mini pro flash programmers will be more cost effective uh, um, because, you know, you know, the type and variety of the uh, chips that you could actually program and test with this type of programmer is really wide compared to uh, this one. With this one, uh, you would be able to uh, program a couple of different flash uh, memories. Uh, including the ones that we are using in this project. So that's uh, that's really all about it. Also, um, another option that you have is that you can get only the PCBs. So if you would like to, you know, source all the parts yourself, um, I guess uh, that's an option. You could get only the PCBs and, you know, source the rest of the parts yourself. Um, although um, I think I've been uh, quite fair in the pricing um, of the total kit and uh, to be honest, the total cost of the kit um, is really um, the cost of parts that I'm getting, uh, plus a little surcharge, and obviously um, the surcharge is uh, for the time that I'm putting uh, into building this kit, uh, and it's a lot of work. I mean, uh, a total of about 270 parts uh, goes into this kit, and it, it's a lot of work to source these parts and then uh, sort them, count them, pack them, and, you know, of course, ship them. Uh, so that's that's really about it. Uh, so now you may ask uh, which one should I get? Well, it depends on you um, I mean the flash programmer and the main kit are bundled together as one package You can get that one which means that you get everything that you need for this project uh, If you have uh, some sort of flash programmer then only get the um, the kit without the flash programmer and finally if you want you know to um, you, you know source the parts yourself then just get the uh, PCBs and you could do the same you could build a project now one important thing before I uh, finish this video up is that um, following this video I'll be posting another video uh, which I will be going through uh, some uh, tips and tricks in regard to the soldering of each module and I guess uh, if you decided to build this project, uh, this is very important to uh, watch that video. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be a short video, uh, but there are some uh, uh, tips and tricks here and there uh, when soldering the, the boards that uh, definitely gonna help you during the project. I mean, there are like simple stuff. For example, um, I'm, I'm gonna talk about what type of you know uh, female connectors you need here because uh, you need uh, basically a, a specific clearance between the modules since you will be stacking on, on top of each other. So in order to have that clearance, you probably need uh, a little bit of spacing on those female connectors and so on. So these are uh, important points which you know probably result in uh, you know uh, having less issue when when doing the project. So definitely watch that video and. Um, and that's it. That's all about the kit. Again, the kit is available at 8bitkits.com. I put the link in the description. And again, I appreciate all your support and your comments. Uh, I guess uh, that has been very encouraging uh, to the point that I finally decided to uh, put this kit together. Well, with that, uh, I appreciate your time today and see you guys soon uh, with the next video.